Women-owned businesses face unique challenges that can make it more difficult to succeed. A new initiative called She's Next, empowered by Visa, is providing help for women entrepreneurs with everything from marketing to business loans and e-commerce. Joining us from Washington, D.C., a senior VP and head of strategy marketing for Visa's Cyber Source Business, Michelle Heron. Welcome, Michelle. Thank you so much for having me. First off, Michelle, talk about She's Next and why it's so important to empower female business owners. She's Next Empowered by Visa is a new global initiative to champion female business owners in their efforts to grow their small businesses. As a part of the platform, we are going to be raising awareness of female entrepreneurship, we're investing in women across the globe, and we're building opportunities to help women grow their businesses and their brands. As a part of the platform, we're hosting workshops, and we recently hosted a workshop in Washington, D.C., um, where over 250 powerful female founders came together to inspire, network, and learn. Now, there was a survey that analyzed the state of female entrepreneurship and um, looked at some of the challenges. What are some of the unique challenges that female entrepreneurs are facing in D.C. and across the country? Visa recently conducted a survey nationally, and one of the big things that women told us is that they're having difficulty obtaining the funding that they need to start their businesses. And in fact, two thirds are self-funding. This is a particularly big challenge because women are starting small businesses at a faster rate than men are these days. So we have to figure out how we invest in this important and growing segment of our society. Now, there is good news coming out of the survey as well. Nearly 80% of the women told us that they're feeling more positive and more empowered than they did five years ago. So this is the momentum that we want to build on and why Visa feels so passionately about the She's Next program and the work that we're doing to help female entrepreneurs fund, run, and grow. Well, one of the trends that we're definitely seeing is shopping online and shopping online overseas. How can businesses prepare themselves to go globally? Well, we're quickly moving to a world where you can pay for anything, anytime, anywhere, and consumers no longer see those boundaries when it comes to getting what they want. I actually think this is a huge opportunity for small businesses that now can start a brick and mortar business and they can take that online or they can start an online only business. It's getting easier and easier with the platforms that are available to extend your service and your reach. And I talk to women every day that have all sorts of interesting and exciting new ideas. And so I think the advice is really to to go online, go digital, and see where the possibilities take you. And I do understand that Visa has some resources that can really change the game for small businesses, huh? We sure do, we sure do. So Visa is the largest small business payment network in the world, and we have lots of products, services, and programs that can enable a small business to be successful. We operate a platform called Authorize.net, and Authorize.net enables merchants to accept payments anywhere, anytime, and contains lots of the tools that a business needs to get started really within minutes. Nearly half a million merchants rely upon Authorize.net today for their payment processing needs. And so with the capability um, within She's Next and the tools of Authorize.net. We're here to tell merchants that it's not difficult to get started and you've got this. Oh, that sounds awesome. Where can people go for more information about all these resources? I would love it if folks would go to visa.com slash she's next. And when you're there, you'll be able to find lots of amazing resources, information on upcoming workshops. You'll find a newsletter as well as advice and insights from experts. All right, thank you, Michelle, for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.